What's going on everybody, Nastodon here, and today we're going to be checking out a couple games from No Gravity Games. Uh, right now, they are doing the 12 Days of Switch Miss, and they're giving away a bunch of free games, so today I'm going to be playing those. It's the 11th as of recording it, there's still a bunch of games to be coming out free. Uh, who knows what they're going to be. So I'm going to play No More Snow, Fueled Up, and Alder's Blood Definitive Edition. Like I said, they're all free. You can come play them yourself. You do need to own one game to get the rest free. As long as you own this one, you'll get the next one free. So let's check out these games, because I don't really know anything about them. I just saw this giveaway, and I thought that was a really cool thing, so let's check it out. Since I know a lot of you uh, like Mario and probably have a Switch if you're watching my channel, so here's some free games you might be able to play. Our story begins in a realm far away from ours, hidden within the darkness of an ancient forest. It's a calm and cold evening in the town. Joyful children are playing beneath a tall Christmas tree, decorated with sparkling ornaments and glowing lights. Yet strange sounds silence the children's laughter. The little ones scatter in every direction, their hearts pounding, fleeing from the approaching terrors, hiding behind the rooftops of the old houses. Krampus generals begin to crawl out of the shadows at the heart of all of this. Krampus himself lurks atop the church bell tower, giving a sinister gaze downward. Yet in this moment of darkness, a spark of hope emerges. In the distance, a figure in a red coat steps forward with one <laughs> purpose in his mind. To save Christmas from the threat of evil. Alright, this one looks pretty cool. So I'm going to be Santa. Start new game. Oh, there's multiplayer. Oh, local only. Okay. Wait, was there? Okay, yeah, new game single. Um. Yeah, let's do a wonderful life. Main campaign. Oh, cool, they have more coming. Alright, so run is L. Shoot with ZR. Oh. Do I aim? Oh, I just blew him up. Okay. Yeah, well, now I know what bomb is. <laughs> okay, just keep going. Oh, you can aim. With the right stick. Okay, axe. Cool. Oh, and with the axe out, you can just use your D-pad as well. Not your D-pad. Your right thumbstick. Ooh, I got hit. Can I do some? Oh, fire. Probably checkpoint. Oh, or it'll melt the snow. Let's see. Come here. Let's see if you melt. Nope. I cannot aim, dude. <laughs> Alright, I'm a bad Santa with a gun, but I'm good with the axe. Oh yeah, I should probably aim. Okay, blow that up. Run, Santa. Chop him up. Okay, that's easier. Oh, I could have blown him up, too, probably. No. I missed. Okay. I should get them all. The axe is the strongest thing. Why? I'm going down. Oh, 
Okay. Aiming's a little hard in this. Hey, a Christmas present. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, just get them all together. Wait, oh! I got a machine gun. Ah, they killed me. How did I know I had a machine gun? Okay. So I gotta pay more attention. He'll walk into it. I don't have to aim. <laughs> Why are there so many of you? I don't even know if I need to do that. Okay, so this is a machine gun in here. Should I have known that? Wow, so many of them. I threw the bomb up. I tried to. <laughs> oh, there's one alive. Get out of here, snowman. Where do I go? Oh, we win. Alright. Cool. What do we get for that? Ooh. Is that a good shotgun? Oh yeah, nice wide range. Alright. I mean, the axe is still probably stronger. I haven't tried the axe on these enemies yet, though. What was... Oh, different guns. I was aiming at him. Christmas snowman. I mean, that works. I can still get through. Okay, so you can look and throw your bombs, too. Did I just preemptively get one? Get the hang of it. I don't know what gun's best. I didn't really get to try the shotgun out because I kept picking this up. Dude, they are just spawning non-stop now. Just keep running and shooting. Literally, they're everywhere. Oh, ooh. A rocket launcher? Alright, that'll come in handy. Oh, yeah. We got a big snowman boss. It shoots pretty quick. Oh, you know what? I don't think I take damage from this, so I can shoot close up, too. Just waiting for some splashback damage. can't run when you're aiming. 
Which is fair. Dude, there. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, a couple more. Oh, we got him. We got him. You know, there's still one more snowman. All right, this game's actually pretty fun. I like this. Oh, is this like a sniper? I was going to go to the next game, but I, I'm, I'm intrigued. I got to see what else happens. Dude, I'm on that person. Snowman. My red light? Oh, maybe it's not. Okay, I thought it was on it. Apparently I can't see. Oh, no, I missed. I mean, I can't jump down. I need to come back. Okay, you know what? I probably sell my axe. I cannot hit that one. <laughs> okay, if you hold down the trigger, you can just keep shooting. Even with a sniper. The heck is that thing? I don't want to hit that one. Okay, do I collect those? Are those good? Nope, they're bad. Do I sell my bombs? I am not good. <laughs> Isn't that what I have? Or is that a better one? Yeah, that's what I have. Let's do the machine gun. Oh, yeah. I can just do my drive-bys. I am so glad I picked this gun. <laughs> oh, did that hurt me? So they dropped like a poison, that's what that was. That's cool, they have these now. What are you? Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, that's good for those guys. What? It's actually a pretty fun game. I like that. Uh, let's check out Fueled Up. Spaceship moves forward only when all engines... Oh, okay. I guess this one just starts. Okay. No story or anything. This one just goes. Welcome to Engineers. To the Space Recovery Certification Center. My name is Luna. I'll be your guide. I'm happy to tell you that... 
You're just one step away from becoming certified recovery engineers. I mean, we don't need another story. There's an evil octopus. Okay, great. Keep storing everything in its way, and it'll chase you every time you try to recover a spaceship. Sure. Super important to keep the engines fueled up. Okay. You stop for too long, the octopus will destroy the spaceship. It's always accompanied by an army of squids. So if you see them around, you better pick up the pace. Don't want to scare you. You're up for the task. I believe in you. Let's begin your certification. Um, okay, you can move around with L. Swap characters, press R to go to the next room. Oh, okay, so this is me. Oh, now this is me. Okay. So I play both characters. Oh, cool. It's like a puzzle. Okay. Can I, like, stand in the doorway so it doesn't close? Like, how am I supposed to do that? No. <laughs> oh, wait. It's out of fuel, it says. Oh, you hold L to highlight important stuff. Oh, so there's stuff up there, too? Well, I can't get through the doors. This didn't... That only opens that door. Okay, I'm gonna like this game if this is a puzzle. Okay. I know we have to repair those before we continue. Okay, I can't do both at the same time. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. Okay, now producing the fuel to keep the spaceship moving. You have to keep all the engines running. If at least one engine runs out of fuel, you'll start moving forward to produce a fuel cell. Take one crystal from the dispenser and place it in a refiner. Uh, where are the crystals? Oh, okay, this opens now. Okay, take a crystal. This must be the refiner. Okay, well, that's doing that. I can probably do this side. No. Oh, you, okay, wait. So I can come over here and... Okay, the fuel cell is ready. Place it in one of the engines to open the door. Okay. Let's grab that. Okay, that's powered up. The spaceship isn't moving. You must power up the second engine to start moving. That makes sense to me. Oh, okay, so we do it again. Oh, yeah. Gotta want it. Okay, so put it in this one. There we go, we're moving. Whoa, that side opened up. Oh, whoa, that... Uh... Grab the buckets. What buckets? Oh, no. Dude, I can't see a thing, bro. I think I'm gonna... Spaceship simulation crashed. You have crashed the simulation. I'm sorry, but I cannot certify you for advanced recovery. You have to start with a simpler spaceship and work your way up from there. Okay, so that was probably meant to happen, and I wasn't supposed to do that perfectly, because I don't know what I was doing. Alright, yeah. <laughs> that's good to know. I'm like, well, I'm bad at this game. I'm done. <laughs> but that's what it was supposed to be. Congratulations on your first cert. For now, you can take the simplest of recoveries, and worry not if you can prove your skills. Uh, you'll earn a higher level of certification and be able to work towards more advanced spaceships. 
Okay, so let's go up this way. Uh, don't let any engine stop. Keep the hull integrity above one, uh, 50. Yeah, I think this would be definitely easier with more people doing tasks than just one person doing them all. Okay, so. Crystal. Where's the refinery? It's down here. Wait, I need you to stand on this. Okay, you do this. You fix these. doing it. Okay, got this crystal. Let me through. Get off of this, fix that. Put this in the engine. Okay, then we do it again. Wait, can I just bring these here? I grab a couple crystals. Oh, the last game's downloaded. What's this guy doing? Just chilling. Okay, so I need to take this. Put it down. Grab another crystal. Put that in. And I can grab the canister. Oh, put it in here, because that's at zero. There we go. Work on this hull damage. He'll take that. Give me that. Grab another one. <laughs> there we go. What is this? Like, bag one? I don't know what I'm doing there, honestly. Alright, gotta patch these up. Oh, what is my character up there doing? Did I forget to press the button? I did. Okay. Oh, I won. Cool. Ah, uh, well. I got the hull integrity above 50, but the engine did stop. Honestly, this is not my type of game. Like, with multiple people, it'd be fine. Like, it kind of reminds me of Overcooked a little bit. This is, I don't know, this is hard with one person. I think with two people, or multiple people, this would be fun. I don't know. But, yeah, not for me. Maybe it's for you. No gravity games. Enemies are immediately alerted by any sudden sounds in their vicinity. If stealth is a priority, avoid using loud weapons. Okay, I love stealth games, so if there's going to be stealth in here, I'm all for it. Alright, start a new game. The Iron Man setting disables manual saving Iron Man files will only be auto-saved. Enabling the quick start setting will skip the tutorial. We recommend playing through the tutorial at least once. Alright, yeah, I want to play the tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing. Is there a crime more reviled than the slaughter of kin? What about the slaughter of a god? The rotting corpse of our father curses these lands. It must be done. I will reckon with the consequences in time. Finally, my search leads me to a hilltop riddled with shrines. The crown. This is where it all ends. Okay, most firearms must be reloaded between each shot. Keep an eye on your chamber to ensure you're prepared to strike when the moment comes. Dude, I reload my... Oh, what the heck? At last, the crown is in sight. My journey... journey? Oh, well, there's... I don't even need to read. Just They're talking for me. Alright, to move Duke, select any space with a standard movement range represented by the white outline. As long as you move within the standard movement range, Duke will not tire himself. Duke can move freely, making as many adjustments as desired as long as he does not exceed the white border of his movement range. However, every node he travels decreases the movement remaining number of nodes in his range by one. The movement stat governs the movement ranges of hunters. I don't see a white... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. 
Select the highlighted node on the ground and press A to move Hunter. I pressed A. Oh, the highlighted one. Ha <laughs> ha. Reach the top of the hill. Okay, moving through the tall grass hides Hunter from enemies. Such type of terrain is highlighted in purple and grants concealment, but beware, only silent actions will keep hunters hidden. Even in concealment. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Moving the bushes will require Duke to move further than his movement stat would allow. This is extra movement range. Okay, and their stamina, whatever. Okay, there's like a shot should put the creature down, albeit loudly. I pray none of its allies lurk nearby. To initiate a ranged combat, select the corresponding ability on the ability bar. This opens a target menu highlighting available targets. The burning blood of hunters line grants them uncanny focus and reflexes, and a shot that a hunter makes in battle will never miss its mark. Okay. Most ranged weapons are loud and will alert enemies within a certain radius of your position. The audible radius for each weapon is found on the ability description besides the sound icon. Okay, so you press Y. Damage audible range seven. I don't I don't know what that means, but uh, let's go ahead and confirm it. Oh, that shows how far it goes, so I should be fine. Okay, nothing hurt it. We're good. Well, I can't go that far, can I? I'm just gonna use up all of my uh, stamina. Curses. Curses! The wind wills against me. Any closer, and the brute will catch my scent. Perhaps if I'm swift, I can make it enough ground to shake the trail before he finds it. All right, this seems like a complicated game, man. <laughs> Mind the wind direction. Hunter's scents are carried on the wind, so it's best to keep down under your prey. Any idle monsters who discover Hunter's scent will immediately become alerted. Okay, so the wind is moving left. Or west, I guess. Reach the top of the hill. They want me to go here. Another one. Could it be they're drawn to your corpse? No matter. These beasts are simple. Thrown pebble would distract them enough to sneak past. Oh, we got pebbles. This is kind of like Hitman. <laughs> Use the pebble ability. Oh, okay. So right joystick. You can look around the map. That's cool. And then left is this. Okay. Dude, I like just threw that at him. It looked like. Path grows unpredictable. The further it ascends, best catch my breath while I have the chance. Press and hold X to end your turn. Wait, this is a turn-based game? Okay, that's interesting. So does that, like, replenish my stuff? I just can carry two weapons on any mission, one large and a sidearm. They can switch between these freely at any time. Ah, a fine opening for my rapier. I should press the advantage. To initiate melee, select the corresponding ability, plus, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty simple. My ambush has brought the beast to its knees. It is okay. To banishing. Down enemies can be banished from the physical plane by the invoke in. 
by the invocation of an old hunter's right to do this first move to a node adjacent to a downed enemy, then select banish from the ability bar. Takes three tabs of stamina. That's fine. What? What a way to do that. My skin crawls. <laughs> Such rituals invoke the darkness too intimately for me. Finally, the summit. I'm here at long last. Okay, we've made it to the summit. Alright, so this game could be good. Uh, I'm just going to play the tutorial for that one. This could be a good game. I don't know. If you want to see more, uh, it is free today, so check it out. Do you want to see more of these free games? I'll keep playing them, obviously, because uh, I'm interested in these. So far, definitely No More Snow has been my favorite, the first one. Fueled Up will be great if you have some local friends to play with. And Elder's Blood uh, seems okay. Not really my style, turn-based action games. Yeah, No More Snow is my favorite so far out of the three games. And be sure to go ahead and check out No Gravity Games. I will leave the link in the description and you can sign up for these games, get them for free.